Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Actor Workout. Uh, today, we are joined by Marie. This is the first time I'm meeting Marie, and uh, she has graciously decided to bless us with uh, her, her work today as we work out uh, a script that she has not seen. Uh, and uh, so, Marie, welcome to The Actor Workout. Well, thank you very much. I'm happy to be there, and I will try to do my best. We'll see. <laughs> okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Well, I come from Belgium. Uh, actually, I don't have any real degree in acting. I have a degree in bioengineering and okay. another one in uh, science management, two master okay. degree, no job. But uh, I've always loved acting, so I've taken some acting class in evening or afternoon as a kid and uh, during my master's degrees in Belgium. Okay. Then uh, I moved in Taiwan. Uh, my husband is Taiwanese. That's okay, okay. And uh, I've actually started in Taiwan to uh, uh, play in some commercials and small, tiny projects, things like that. And it's been a lot of fun, and I hope to be able to keep going in that. Okay, good. Well, your instinct is good to always seek out places to test your tools out, to uh, yeah. try out the instruments, right? Uh, yeah. uh, so have you done many commercials so far in Taiwan? Uh, a couple, I would say uh, about 10, something like that. So right. not a lot, but not too few either. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tough business. So, But this, yeah, uh, hope indeed. hopefully what we do today will uh, make you much more employable. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. That's, yeah, that's my too. goal, to help people become more employable for the few and far between jobs there are out there. Yeah, moreover, right now is that COVID. I have a couple of directors who are waiting to know if they can get the product from China to be able yeah, to pay yeah. commercial. Well, we're we're like, better yeah, off being careful. Working. We're better off being careful right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, and so true. this is completely online and a uh, safe way to practice acting, safe acting. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to uh, we're going to give you a script. You've never seen it before, or you're unlikely that you've seen it. You don't know what to expect, and you're going to uh, read it fresh, what we call a cold read, and then we'll discuss it. We'll work on it. You'll read it again, and we'll do a few more notes and one final take. Okay, oh, do you sure. have any projects that you want to plug first? I'll, Anything you want to promote? Uh, right now, not really. As I said uh, earlier to you offline, <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to an acting workshop mid of April. Okay. This one, not online, so hopefully yeah. everything will be fine with that virus. Well, well, maybe this is a monologue you might choose to use, although it's kind of short. You might want a bigger one for the that workshop. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize. Oh, I can't do that. Still trying to figure this out. So, uh, <laughs> first time oh wait, I know how to so. do it. Here we go. Here we go. And send. Okay, now you have. You you should be receiving it, and as soon as you've got it, action. Is it uh, Aaron B? Yes, the... Aaron B. And okay. action. Well, it's still opening very oh. slow. <laughs> Let me make it in sort that I can actually read it. I have a high expectation of Taiwan's internet ability. Uh, trying to put it in the, yeah, okay, now I see it. Oh, see, no, that pissed me off. First of all, since the demur, uh, we now have more than 400 plaintiffs. And let's be honest, we all know there is more there. No, they may not know the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide. And $20 million isn't shit when it's slip between them. And second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swimming in a pool without worrying they will have uh, a hysterectomy at age 20, like Rosa, Rosa Diaz. A client of ours, and have the spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame ass offer, I want you to think really hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Buddha, or what you expect someone to pay for your uterus, Mrs. Sanchez. Then 
you take your calculator and multiply that number by 100. Anything less is a waste of our time. Good, it's tough, yeah? <laughs> but what, what I liked was your pacing. <laughs> your pacing, the, the, you didn't rush it. And, and when, you had, when you had trouble with the word hysterectomy, you just solved it and kept going. So th that, that was good. How did that feel for you? Is this the first time you've done something like a cold read? I uh, cold read, yeah. But actually, I've seen Aaron Clark video. So right, I Aaron Clark did this one. But you, you didn't months, know you were going to get one, that. You didn't know you were going to yeah, get I the same know. one. Yeah. yeah, I just checked the video of former participants to have an idea what to expect. But that's well, I, I'm yeah. building the script library uh, every day. But I, I this is uh, one of the, the first time you're doing it, I want to give you something a little bit simpler. I have much more difficult ones, but I haven't met you yet. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know uh, what, what I could push. And I think uh, with the accent constraint and being a, a third or fourth language for you, because you're... Third. Third? Of how many? Third how, many do you speak? how many do you speak? Well, I used to speak Dutch all right. No, I can understand it, but uh, if you ask me to speak, it would be a little bit harder. Uh, I took one year Spanish class, so my Spanish is uh, bugging your level, but uh, I can get along. And because of French being my mother tongue, Spanish is actually, uh, if I read it, I understand 60% without having studying something like that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, Chinese now. Chinese, been, uh, okay. So, yeah. languages are, are uh, of a great interest to you, and uh, that's five I counted. Uh, mm -hmm. So, it's your third language, and, and when, it, when you're not expecting a word like hysterectomy, you know what it means, the pronunciation. You just have to get it into your muscle memory. So, if you say it three times now, say hysterectomy three times. Hysterectomy? Let me see how it's written again. Yeah. Where was it in the text? Towards the... Yeah, yeah, yeah so I find it. Uh, hysterectomy, hysterectomy, hysterectomy. Yeah, so it's in your muscle memory now. So whenever you have trouble, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so the pacing was very good for... Uh, this is a trap that everybody's... They rush through it and you took your time. And I think that's a good instinct, okay? Uh, so what... Uh, how do you want to work on this? We can work on it a number of ways. I thought your stillness was very good. There was no shaking of the head and, and no, and that when we're working with a camera, that's really important. I have to say that even you say it's a famous piece, I have no idea where it come from. Aaron Brockovich? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's, that's what we, you shouldn't know where it comes from. That makes the cold reading that much more challenging. Now yeah, we can build no, on I, that. I will check it out. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you about it right now. Aaron Brockovich was a civil rights activist. Mm -hmm. She worked for a law firm who had a case uh, of uh, taking a corporation to court for poisoning the groundwater of oh, a town. Okay. Which of an country? Area in America. Yeah, that's probably why it's not in my culture because. Uh, well, I mean, corporations do pretty evil things everywhere in the yeah. world. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, we the, have... the, the water that they were drinking, that they were swimming in, had poisons, had toxins in it. And mm -hmm. uh, so on behalf of the law firm that she was a clerk at, she started mm -hmm. to sign up more and more plaintiffs. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, and she kind of led the charge the lawyers kind of just sat back and let her run it. And she, be, she's a real person and she became very famous. And this uh -huh. ended up being the largest uh, settlement by a corporation in a class mm -hmm. action suit in the history of American law to date. I imagine there's bigger ones since this is quite dated mm -hmm. now in the nineties, I think. Anyway, okay. she, she's gone on to be quite a, a famous civil rights activist. So she's a very powerful woman. Okay. And in this scene, it's the demur, okay? You don't know what that word is. I didn't when I first came across this script. The demur is just one step in the process of suing someone. Mm -hmm. You have to go to court for this. You have to go to court for that. The demur. So that has already happened at the time of this meeting that you're in. Okay. Okay? And so since that time, you've signed up 400 more plaintiffs. And there's more out there, and you're really good at this. You're spent. You're sacrificing your family 
Mm. Yeah, so you're putting your kids are being babysit by your boyfriend a lot, so you can take these meetings and sign up plaintiffs. You're working really hard at that. Yeah. And all that hard work is done, and now you've got the company. You yeah. own them. You've got them in your pocket. Mm -hmm. So the power that must come from that. The, yeah. the self-assurance, okay? It, 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 you don't have to get angry, even though, the, like I, it says, now that pisses me off. You, mm -hmm. You're not really angry because you're about to make them pay a lot of money. You know yeah. you've got them, right? So I've spent months looking for victims. I have a ton of Survivors, let's call them survivors, not victims. Survivors. survivors. Okay, survivors. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Survivors and uh, have had them whole sign up against that company Correct. and now it's like hey i have all those first on it's proved there's no room for you guys to do anything anymore but pay yeah Mostly it's and boy are you gonna pay yeah right? and you have to pay yeah a lot, a lot. so you've got them uh, you, you you're if you watch the video you can find it on youtube you see the lawyer her lawyers are just sitting back laughing because they know they're gonna Erin made two million dollars off of this, but her law firm made one hundred and thirty-three million dollars, and the people split two hundred million dollars. So, it's a, yeah, she she gets a, a huge settlement for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me also ask you: there's some some pronunciation things. I think for for today's exercise, we're not going to try and work on making you an American. <laughs> okay, but an American accent is what something you might want to consider some training on, some working on. Yeah, how to gain an accent, actually. Or well, you, you fake accent. it, you act it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not British, but I can obviously try to do a British accent. Uh, right? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to act right now. I'm not rehearsing. I'm just throwing something out there. You can try. A lot uh, of uh, British actors do American accents. Mm -hmm. And so an actor... I, there's also just being yourself and being truth to the part and, and you are who you are. So I'm suggesting that we could take a, a hard look at some of your pronunciation or we can just work on character development and let you be free with mm -hmm. your accent flying. I think that second choice is the better one, yeah? Uh, I think too, because I think to correct accent and deep pronunciation will take more time than okay. uh, 30 minutes. Well, there's just two so. things I do want to say it's not piss me off it's pisses pisses me off okay uh, sure. and plaintiffs with the s it's just your s's at the end the, the what yeah when you watch back you see plaintiff you say it with a french accent you don't add the plaintiffs you know oh, plaintiffs. i need to say the s right yes yeah. yeah 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 just watch your your plurals okay but then yeah, again that is the french accent as i said <laughs> it, i was like oh i'm in quebec right now i'm speaking with the french accent <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, hope it's not too deep because sometimes from when I hear TV from a Parisian French speaker, I think sometimes their English is really terrible. So I yeah. hope it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, let's try another reading. Mm -hmm. and, and now you know more about the character. Take a second, and when you're ready, begin. Okay. Oh, see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we now have more than 400 plaintiffs. And let's be honest, we all know there is more there. No, they may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide. And $20 million isn't shit when it's split between them. And second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch the kids swim in a pool without worrying they will have to, uh, they will have a hysterectomy at age 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of course, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame ass offer, I want you to really think hard about your spine, what your spine is worth, Mr. Buddha, or what you expect someone to pay for your uterus, Mrs. Sanchez. Then 
you will take out your calculator and multiply that number by 100. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. Okay, good, good. Much better, <laughs> yeah, much better <laughs> that you had so something to go on this time. I'm still toying with the idea of whether that cold read has value. I'll ask all you guys later whether you think that had value or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, your, your character development is good. Towards the end, you, you seem to be finding a little bit more playfulness in there. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, it's because the words pisses me off, plaintiffs, hysterectomy, spines deteriorating. It's all hard, morbid stuff. Right, it's not ha it's not happy. There's no happiness in this, right? Uh, Except the fact that you're about to get two hundred million dollars for your your clients, and that that winning has to come through. Mm. For the joy, there's so much joy in this. You're laughing at these people. You've got them down, and you could kick them, but you're just gonna sit there and laugh at them. You mm -hmm. idiots! You thought you were gonna get away with this for twenty million? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know that that. So uh, I don't think about one of your most joyous experiences, the, the, your wedding day, something like that, and use these words, but as if you're telling somebody about the day you got engaged. Mm -hmm. okay? a, a happy day, a, a fun day. Okay, and, and let's see how that goes. I oh, see. No, that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we now have more than 400 plaintiffs. And let's be honest, we all know there is more there. Now, they may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide. And $20 million isn't shit when it's split between them. And second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch the kids swim in a pool without worrying they will have to have a hysterectomy at age 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back with yet another lame ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what uh, your spine is worth, Mr. Buddha, or what you expect someone to pay for your uterus, Mrs. Chancellor, then you take out your calculator and multiply that number by a hundred. Anything less than that is a waste of more time. Good ending, very good ending, yes, very good ending. Uh, so yeah, much more in control of the conversation, much more power to her. Right, she has all the cards. Do you, do you play poker? You've got four aces, <laughs> yeah. and that guy's trying to trying to raise you twenty million, and <laughs> you're all in, right? You got yeah. him. Okay. Um, there's uh, okay. So now, what you'd want to do as you take this away is break it down and and look at ways. Like you, you have three videos now. I'll be posting this to YouTube, and you can mm -hmm. watch. And look for ways, uh, what would you expect somebody to pay for your uterus? Mm -hmm. by, by emphasizing the your, making that a choice, you're, you're yeah. shifting the, making it personal for that person. Yeah. Right? Making, you know, so there's, uh, that goes with pacing. Look for mm -hmm. areas, highlight the, the script, cop, copy and paste the script to your own. You, you have access to it, but you can't use this one. You have to make your own and, and play with it. And it's a good little monologue for you. I think yeah. uh, if, you, if you're auditioning for a play or something, or if they, they never do ask for monologues in commercial work here, but you never <laughs> know. You never know. Never know, yeah. yeah. I do have uh, one interview for a commercial. I get the part. But they did ask me, okay, we had like 20 girls who come today for the, this interview. Why are you better than them? And I was like, oh, really? That's the first time they asked this kind of question for. <laughs> wow. Casting in Taiwan. What an experience. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was so thrilled when, uh, when I got offered the part for uh, Lady the Butterfly. I met with the director face to face for one hour. We talked. He didn't have me read anything. We just talked. And he offered me the part in the room. 
you know, and that's nice to me that, that that respect I will always I will love this man forever for showing me that and and I really it was 30 years at plus of waiting for that moment that opportunity to happen so yeah. stick with it you know keep keep taking these classes go to every audition you can and, and it's hard it's hard enough to find ways to uh, use our our love for the stagecraft of acting in Taiwan yeah. so you got to take every opportunity out there. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Well, not really. I'm really happy to have had that opportunity to talk because it's always nice to have some backup. Uh, well, not backup. I wore that wrong. But, uh, feedback. Feedback, yeah. Feedback, thank you. Yes. You're in yeah. my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah sometimes as here, they will not always tell you or what was wrong or what was good. <laughs> Yeah. I love giving my opinion, so I think I found the right niche for me. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Uh, I play in one, well, it was actually a video for uh, a school teaching English, so they didn't mind my accent, I guess, or they didn't find anybody else. Anyway, yeah. I was making a chocolate pudding and explaining the whole recipe in English, so it was a one take, 15 minutes more or less, the duration of the recipe, yeah. so we did it only once finally and uh, my agent was super happy with me because they have been shooting all day long they were totally they were three hours late by the time it was my turn so i've been waiting for two or three hours doing nothing it was midnight almost when we start so it was really happy that they're like okay they're happy with your take it's fine I'm like yeah well could have One been done slightly <laughs> bit better but uh, yeah why not at least, so all my, uh, my, my butterfly friends will appreciate that story because they used to call me one take the and it's an inside <laughs> joke for my butterfly friends but uh, okay well thank you very much Marie for uh, for taking showing your bravery to come and, and uh, try the actor workout today um, yeah, thank you. please uh, give Marie a like for all her hard work when you watch the video and uh, any budding directors out there, if you want to comment in the comment section and offer her some advice, uh, please do so. Um, Marie's, I'm sure, open to any kind of feedback. Okay, sure. so that, that was another edition of the Actor Workshop. If you want to take the challenge of the cold read and then have some uh, feedback from uh, my 30 years experience in this business, then please email me at tosave, that's T-O-E-S-A-V-E, at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook I, I'm plastering it with the uh, the registration form for this uh, event okay thank you Marie thanks again thank you and uh, for the actor workout I'm uh, coach Stu bye 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 bye